Hello? Hi, um, this is London, right? Yeah, this is London. <laughs> okay, well, London, um, I'm gonna need you to, to stop speaking to my man. Your man? Oh, wait, hold on. This must be Asha, right? <laughs> Asha, um, I don't know if you've gotten the memo, but I'm the new bitch in charge. Oh, really? Oh, really? Uh, oh, okay, London. Um, well, new slash ho. Derek still loves me, okay? So while you're fucking him, he's still thinking about me, bitch. Oh, really? So that's why he called my name out last night? Uh-huh. Because he's been calling my phone every other night. He's mine, ho. You need to give him up. How about enough? He belongs to me. Derek Roman is mine. I'm sorry that you seem to be confused. Asha, he belongs to me. London, he is mine. First of all, you need to shut up. Derek Roman is mine. His dick is always in me. So you don't need to compete. Just because you're fucking him doesn't mean that he loves you. He still cries over me. Cause I was wifey Okay, but he divorced you And you got an abortion So really, bitch, you ain't that one And you don't even hold a place Cause I'ma be sitting on Derek's face You need to give him up Had about enough, had about enough <laughs> <laughs> DJ, he gets down, mixing records while they go. It's so hot. It's so hot. Like, my hair out here looking crazy as fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's so hot. Guys, look, listen. Welcome back to It's a She Thing TV by me, Dominique. Guys, okay, I already told you I will not be reviewing this week's episode because, one, um, I've been working every single day until 12 a.m. for this this past week, okay? And um, I've been sick as well. This heat is getting to me, you know, got my asthma all fucked up and stuff. So I just, I'm not in a state of mind to stand here for like 30 minutes in this heat reviewing this episode. Okay, I'm just here to address two important things that happened in that episode, okay? Alright, and um, yeah, those of you who already know, you know my interest will always be around Derek Roman, Asha, and whoever Derek is affiliated with, so in this case, London. So no, I will not be talking about Jude. No, I will not be talking about Nero. His name is not Nero. I was fully going to say Nero. Noah. I'm not talking about him or Zero either. Not talking about Lionel. Actually, I need to talk about Lionel and German stank ass. <sighs> okay, I might, I might talk about that. I'm not talking about Jamie because I don't care. I'm just happy they kept that in the back for that dance. Ooh, that dance! <laughs> that was a good dance because I could not see her at all. At all. They had all the professionals up front. That was great. That was great. They should do that more often, no? Okay. Anyway, um, I'm not talking about Eve, because she's a crazy bitch. At the end of the day, just stay the fuck away from Derek. So, yeah, let me just get right to the main points. Let's start with the less important people. Um, German and Lionel. With German, right? Okay, I wasn't really paying attention to this episode or what he said, but I just feel like he's very cocky all of a sudden. You know, like, he's big baller. You know, like, big dick German. You know, I don't care... What position you have, German, I don't care how much money you're earning or lack thereof. I don't give a shit, because at the end of the day, you will always be Olivia's killer in my eyes, okay? You always will be. I don't care if you're trying to redeem yourself. I don't care if the show's trying to redeem you. I still remember what you did last summer. So at the end of the day, I could give two shits, okay? I don't like you, German. I still don't like you, and I never will like you, okay? I don't even respect you, German, all right? I ain't mad at you, you know, trying to change your life and do whatever you gotta do but I'm just need you to humble yourself because you are really acting like you somebody what is that it's nothing you're really acting like you're someone but you're not you know you know German you know you killed Olivia and now Eve is out here targeting the wrong people she needs to come to you because you're the one that killed her mother but it's okay calm as a bitch 
That's why you got elbowed in the face. So, all right. But, yeah, I'm going to need him to just calm down. And then him and Lionel fucking in the car. Out of all the sex scenes that we've been asking for since season one. This is the one we get in season four. <laughs> German and Lionel. You know what? Let's just be happy it wasn't German and Asha doing that. Because then I really would have ripped my eyes out. Okay, German and Lionel. Lionel fucks anything with a pulse, okay? She clearly has no standards. So, all right. That, moving on now, guys. So, the Miami game, okay? All right. Derek and the Devils were playing against Derek's former team members, okay, from Miami. I kind of, like, we kind of, no, I didn't know that. <laughs> All right? Now, from what I gathered in this episode, it seems as if Eve sorted out Pierce, okay, played by James LaRosa, okay? She sorted out Pierce because he is a nosy bitch, and he can find tea on anyone, okay? Alright, so she must have seeked him and said, hey, I need you to find out some shit about Derek, okay? And he was like, okay, I'll do it. Alright, and that's what he did. So, he planted the bug in the Miami team member's ear because a lot of people were asking, like, how would he know that Asha had an abortion? Alright, Pierce. Pierce is how he knew. Pierce told this Frodo-ass motherfucker this info and he tried to use that against Derek during the game, you low down dirty bastard. I'm s <laughs> he's lucky he's still alive, you know. That is this whoo like the way he said it as well, you know? Derek was like, son, son, I don't even know what I don't know why he was saying son, he's not from New York. So why was he saying son anyway? But he was like, son, son. And then the guy was like, Oh, I got your son. No, he didn't say that. He was like, You ain't got no son. You ain't got no son. Your two cent ex wife took care of that. Ah! 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 What kind of cheap ass fucking earring is that? I've clipped this shit in and everything. What? How the fuck? That was not meant to happen, but okay. Like that's how I felt in that moment. Like, what the fuck? Two cent ex-wife? Where do you know Asha from? Two cent bitch? Asha probably has more money. No, 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 she probably doesn't have more money than you. But put some respect on her name. Okay? So far in these three episodes, they have been throwing shots at Asha. Okay, now listen, listen. If this is you guys' way of saying to Taylor, fuck you, I get it. <laughs> okay, but we we're trying to get Taylor back. You know what I'm saying? So, are y'all gonna like stop putting respect on her character's name? Come on now. Come on. Two cent ex wife. No wonder why Derek lost his shit. And in that moment was when I realized that Derek still loves this woman, okay? Ash is still a sensitive, sensitive spot for him, okay? That's a no go zone. Don't mention his wife. Just because he's angry at her right now, don't mean you have the nerve to mention her, okay? Keep her name out of your fucking mouth, alright? He still loves her, he still cares, and he ain't about to have no one talk shit about her. So why didn't you punch? Anyway, never mind, never mind. Okay, so when that dirty ass player said that Derek just took him and punched the fuck out of him, okay? And then all hell broke loose, someone lost an eye, German. Uh, yeah. Uh, but damn, two cent ex-wife. Mm, I know that hurt. I know that hurt. That was too much. That was rude. That was uncalled for, you know? I'm going to need Archer to come back and just, like, have people just put some respect on the name. Just come back, girl. Just come back, because right now people are dragging you for filth, okay? And you have fucking Kyle. She ain't mentioned you once. She hasn't even said anything about your whereabouts, okay? What kind of friend is that, huh? What kind of friend is that? I'm falling. What kind of friend is that? You don't need no friend like that. Hmm, Lionel. I mean, Kyle, whatever your name is, girl. Whatever, whatever. And then, did you see next week's preview? Anyway, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Okay, so, I'm falling. Alright. Alright, so finally, guys, let me just get to the main thing, okay? So, obviously, we knew that Derek and London's little attraction to each other was going to go somewhere, okay? It did. It did. After that dance... I don't even know what they were talking about, okay? But he came out of nowhere. 
All right, he was checking the scene or whatever. And, um, yeah, she was just saying some more Asha type shit. You know, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, Derek. You know, you keep coming back. you like a phoenix. You keep rising through the flames. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud of you, Derek. I really am. You inspire me, Derek. You know? So then, obviously, when she was saying all these things to Derek, you know, she felt herself like, well, maybe I'm doing too much. Let me get out of here. Okay? So she tried to slowly walk away. And then Derek was like, no. He didn't say that, but that's what he wanted to say, in it? So, like, she stopped. They turned to each other, guys, and, um, they didn't just kiss. They were eating each other's faces off, okay? In all three seasons, now four, all right, when Derek and Asha were actually on screen together, I ain't never seen a kiss like that. I ain't never seen, I ain't never seen that much tongue in my life, guys. I never did. Derek was licking on her neck. Her mouth was just open, tongues everywhere. They were really getting it in, huh? You know? And then when you look back on the scenes with Derek and Asha, it wasn't even like that. No. Just grandma kisses. Half the time, we couldn't even see the kisses because they weren't facing the fucking camera. <laughs> you know? Oh. Hmm. Speaking outside of the show, I was here for it, okay? Because I knew Tiana coming on the show was going to bring the sexiness and the, and the passion that I've been wanting to see for years okay i'm not gonna lie to you guys but certain scenes were lacking i'm not that's what i'm gonna say if you know you know if you know certain people were holding back then you know okay but tiana doesn't hold back in anything she does so i knew if her and mckinney were going to be doing scenes together oh it was going to be uh, x-rated okay and it was it was okay they weren't even fucking guys but Derek and london were down there about to fuck okay all right, they were damn near about to have some sex. This is how Asha got caught up in that mess, hmm? You trying to have another girl get an abortion too, Derek? What's going on with you? Slow down. You know, but they were they were getting in, guys. They were kissing, okay? Dry sexing. And this isn't the last we see of this, because in next week's um, episode, they're fucking again. So clearly they're friends with benefits. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm okay with that, okay? He's hurt. He needs to obviously fuck his feelings out. You know, guys do that. All right, especially someone that's going through a divorce, they want to try and bury their feelings or get over their feelings by trying to get with a new bitch. But this is just gonna, this is just gonna turn out bad for London or for Derek. You never know. I feel like London's gonna catch feelings, and obviously she's caught between Pastor Curtis and now Derek. You know, but you are playing yourself, sis, if you think he's just your friend. Okay, you're gonna catch feelings, and then Derek's gonna be the one to be like, uh, uh London, man, I can't do this no more. I gotta get my wife back. Don't nobody do me like my wife. I gotta get my wife back, you know? And then London's gonna be like, but you weren't saying that to me last night. And he's gonna be like, nah, London, you cool, you cool. I like the way you put it down, but I still love Aja, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let me chill. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I just feel like London's gonna get hurt in, in all of this. And I feel like there is, and I feel like Derek is gonna try and get his marriage back on track maybe that's just me being hopeful but you never know you know my predictions are usually spot on so i just won't be surprised if Derek wants to actually try and fix his marriage you know because no matter what him and asha are going through they still are in love and they'll always be in love okay all right and i know if asha was out here fucking another man Derek would be angry as hell but that's double standards for you but anyway what did I think of that scene? It was sexy as hell. But I couldn't lie to you guys. When I watched it for the first time, I felt like I was betraying Asha. It, it, it was hard for me to watch, guys. It was. I, you know, I had to take myself out of Devil's Nation and, and put myself into reality and just think, okay, Tiana Taylor and McKinley Freeman are getting it in. But then when you think back to London and Derek, you're like, oh my God, Derek. You just married Asha, and now you're doing this, you know? It was hard for me to watch, guys, but then I was here for it the second time and the third time and the fourth time. It was a nasty kiss. I was here for it, okay? So, yeah, we'll see how this folds, unfolds <laughs> next week. We'll see what happens with Derek and London. Um, friends with benefits, definitely, definitely. This is just a situation ship, okay? I don't feel like they're really going to fall head over heels in love with each other. At least not Derek. London probably will. But we shall see, guys. We shall see. But yeah, it was a sexy scene. It was a sexy scene. He was licking. Do you see the way he was licking her? All in the mouth and neck. Damn. 
Why you ain't nick Asha like that? I know you bit her ass the last time, but... Anyway, guys, it's a she thing to me, okay? That's what I really got to say. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Peace and love. I'm hot. I'm tired. Bye. Bye. Oh, my waist. Oh. Oh. That's where I'm from. This DJ, he gets down. Mixing records while they go.